it's not the best angle, but I guess you're kind of tilted or maybe I'm tilted. Oh, who knows? Um, <clears throat> so I'm in the car heading to a couple of stores because we are in for somewhat of a snowstorm and we don't really know if we're going to be snowed in or if we're going to be able to get out to the stores. We need stuff. So I'm just doing a preemptive strike and heading over to grab some essentials and things that we may run out of in the meantime. This was not my original plan for this video. My original plan was to take you guys Christmas shopping, but unfortunately the money I was expecting did not come in today. Um, it's okay, it's not actually late, it's just I was hoping it was going to come in today so that I could go and do the Christmas shopping. Not that I would be able to get much, um, but I wanted to at least be able to get something for my mom and my best friend. But that was my original plan for this video, but since plans change, I thought I'd take you along while I go and get the provisions. And I also thought, while I was out and about, and since I had some Dunkin' Donuts credit, that I would try another holiday drink. Now, you all know I prefer Starbucks, so I did get a frozen Dunkin' Donuts drink. So, you know, don't call me crazy because I'm drinking a frozen drink in the middle of winter. But it's really the only thing from Dunkin' that I like now besides the cocoa. So, yeah, I got a frozen peppermint mocha swirl with whole milk. I did open the advent calendar today. I just forgot to film it. So here's a picture of what the result was. Ironically, also peppermint. Um, I have not tried it yet. This one's quite good. Yeah, I like this one. I always worry with peppermint because it's that it it's ever so slightly overdone it's too much so I always worry with peppermint so I don't tend to get the peppermint flavors but I thought I would try it for you guys let you know how it is it's pretty good now that it being that it's a frozen drink that may help um, cut down the peppermint and also the whole milk I don't know for sure but I don't think it's too strong I, I like it I think it could have a little bit more of the mocha part though it's not quite chocolatey enough, in my opinion. But it's not bad. So, it's time to head off to the stores. I'm hoping I only have to go to two. But it's all going to be a matter of if people have started panic buying or not. <laughs> um, luckily, we don't need things like toilet paper and stuff. But we do need some other staples like milk. So, wish me luck. Um... Not that I think you guys care, and I've noticed that I keep explaining this quite a lot, but just in case anybody's curious, I am not wearing my glasses for two reasons today. One, it's because I'm going to stores, and the fluorescent lighting in stores give me a headache if I wear the glasses. And two, there is so much snow on the ground that it's very bright out, and it's going to be kind of the same issue as the fluorescent lights, where that brightness is gonna bounce off the glasses and just give me a headache and make me dizzy and it's just not worth wearing them out and about. I am wearing them at home um, when I work on the computer, although I haven't been able to do any of my work today because YouTube is taking forever to upload today's video, which is why I just came out to do the shopping because I was done, I was done waiting for it. It's been uploading, it is one, no, it's not 111, yes it is, yes it is. It's 111 now. It has been uploading since 10.30 in the morning. I don't know if it's done. I haven't checked to see if it's up. But if it is, that's still a long time to wait. And I don't know if it was just me or not, but whatever. I mean, <clears throat> at least there's a video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. It was a lot of fun. And I uh, unfortunately woke up this morning, though, kind of hungover. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because I crammed so much into one day or if it was because of the lack of a schedule, I don't know. But yeah, I was not, <laughs> getting out of bed was not easy this morning. I can guarantee you that. But that's okay. And I also, my mom bought me a weighted blanket. I've been wanting one for a while because I hear that it helps you sleep. And honestly, I'm very shocked at how much I like this weighted blanket. I don't know if it actually helps me sleep or if it's just keeping me from having like the restless leg syndrome and stuff but it's worth it it is definitely worth it 
It's a 12 pound blanket and it was like $25 from Target. So if I can remember and if they still have it, I will link it in the description. So anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling because the traffic is getting heavier and heavier by the second and I'm going to get out and get to the stores and I'll take you guys with me. So let's go. You all said you liked the clips while I was driving. So here's some more for you. Hopefully it's not too much of a headache. I don't really don't like December traffic. I can tell you that now. It's too unpredictable. I mean, traffic's unpredictable every day now because people don't know how to drive, but definitely December traffic is unpredictable. <sighs> of course, the lane I wanna be in is the same lane everybody's in. We're gonna head to Walmart first, I think, try to get that out of the way. And also so that way if there's something they don't have, I can get it at the second grocery store. Never fails. Stop at a red light, you wanna take a drink and that's when it turns green. Never fails. Walmart. Not looking forward to this. <laughs> because of that in the last time I went to Walmart. But I, I never look, for, look forward to going to Walmart. Never, ever look forward to going to Walmart. And anybody who does, you must have better Walmarts than us. <laughs> park on the non-grocery side because I don't have a death wish. Oh, look at that. Somebody's backing out just for me. Thank you, Mr. Subaru. Appreciate it. Oh, did not know my mom was out of windshield wiper fluid. So, may have to throw some snow at the windshield. That'll be fun. <laughs>
remembered my bags for Walmart. It's a miracle. And it's a good thing I did because now they're getting rid of paper bags. Anyway, let's head off to the next grocery store and finish this list. Hopefully that one won't be as crazy. Actually, I was surprised it's not as crazy at Walmart as it is, but it is the middle of the day on a Wednesday. And the storm is not actually supposed to happen until tomorrow evening. So it's probably going to be tomorrow where everybody starts panic buying everything. So it was a good day to go out. So let's head over to the other grocery store and get the other half of the list. Um, the only thing I could not get in Walmart that I had planned to get in Walmart was uh, frozen fish. So pretty did pretty good in there. I actually got a couple extra things I should not have gotten. I wish I didn't have a headache. I don't like shopping with a headache. But I've been having some coughing spells and they've been giving me headaches. I'm hoping it means that it's working itself out and that's why I keep coughing. But they're not any fun. Coffee. Yeah, I like that. That's a good peppermint one. I haven't tried Starbucks peppermint one yet because I haven't really had the money. So if y'all want to donate so that I can try the other Starbucks holiday flavors, hit me up. I have a PayPal. <laughs> I don't want to make you guys have to pay. I don't know who's going. Um, to enjoy these videos, that's not what I want. I want to make money making these videos but I don't want you guys to have to be the ones paying me and I want to do like sponsorships but they look really scary <laughs> uh, I just, just you know I follow some other larger vloggers and they uh, they, they, they do sponsorships and like um, I think it was Keegan I believe was talking about it in one of her videos recently it looks like it's a really scary process to get sponsorships like you have to do things just right for them to approve the sponsorship and you have to make sure your video is ready ahead of time so that they can watch it and approve it and it it's a it looks intense and I don't know I don't know if that's the right move for me yeah I don't know if it's the right move for me because you all know well you might not know actually if you haven't been on the channel for a while I suffer from panic attacks um I actually had to leave a really, I mean, good is a relative term, but in some ways it was a good job. It was a lucrative job and I did enjoy the people I worked for. You know, I, I got along with them very well. They were very caring about their employees, but in a lot of ways it wasn't a good job either. And I won't get into that because they, I don't want to smear their name, but you know, it has nothing to do with them. Um, but a uh, sudden a panic ha panic attack the first one i ever really had like a full-fledged panic attack where i ended up in urgent care uh made me have to leave that job so now i have panic attacks pretty regularly i'm getting a little bit better at identifying when they're going to happen and stopping them but it's not always possible sometimes you know they just come on um and one of the big things that induces those panic attacks is really strict like in I don't know how to put how to put it because like I am a very strict scheduled person and like I love multitasking and and you know doing challenging things but there comes a time it's usually so what I'm noticing is if it's challenging and for me and like something where it's only going to affect me, I don't have a panic attack because I don't have that, well, what if I screw up and ruin somebody's life thing, which is kind of what happened with the, the law firm I was at, which I don't know if I mentioned it was a law firm. Um, I was working in real estate stuff and I was in charge of a lot of things I wasn't not supposed to be in charge of as paralegal. Um, 
and that kind of gave me that you know I could screw up and, and ruin somebody's life mentality and then that's when I start having the panic attacks if it affects only me or somebody who might understand if I make a mistake like Lynn um it's not so bad you know I do still have some panic attacks but I am able to keep them somewhat under control when it's that case but when it involves somebody else that I could possibly screw something up for them and then in turn possibly be sued for it that's when the full-fledged panic attacks come along so I think sponsorships may be difficult because of that I'm not ruling them out but I'm not jumping on the bandwagon right away either but that's a long way off because sponsorships very rarely will work with smaller channels but that's just my thought process there so I am at the other grocery store so I'm gonna head in and get the shopping done this one is quite busy but usually it's a nicer clientele of people at this store so we're going to get the shopping done we have I have to look at furniture polish to see how much it costs then we have skim milk whole milk soda cream cheese lettuce broccoli and fish to buy so we're gonna start in produce which is why I parked on this side, because I usually park over there. And I have somebody looking at me, wondering why I'm talking to myself, so I'm gonna head in. Got everything with the furniture polish and you would have seen the reason for that almost six dollars for freaking furniture polish no thanks i have to i don't have I threw my wallet in one of the bags because i'm an idiot but i don't think i have enough change to might have enough in here though this is our emergency change which we really don't need anymore since we used to keep it because of new york state thruway but now it's no cash so let's see if I have enough to 85, 95 dollar, 10, 20, 
I don't know how much tax is going to be. I'm going to see if I can go to the dollar store and get one. And see how much tax is going to be. All right, tax is going to be like 11 cents. So let's see here. We got 25, 50, 75, 85, 95, $1.20. Five and eleven cents. That should be how much it is. Now the question is, is do they even have any in stock? have the furniture polish so I guess we're going without furniture polish for a little while because there's no way we're paying six bucks um there are other dollar stores in the area we can check but it's just not worth going today um so now it's a matter of getting home and lugging everything upstairs it's gonna take a couple of trips <laughs> I'm not gonna quite say goodbye to the vlog just yet um I'm gonna see what we get up to uh, the rest of the night because honestly I'm just not in the mood to do any actual work so I might just watch the last Harry Potter movie get ready for the podcast tomorrow plan a couple of things and then just have a relaxing evening and then if we're going to be snowed in for like four days I'm going to get plenty of work done so I can afford not to work tonight I'm just not feeling it. I have a headache. I'm exhausted. And frankly, I could use a nap. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll see what we get up to. Let's go home. We're going to go home the back way because there is no way I am going anywhere near Walmart at this hour. It's 11 or 311. And it is too close to rush hour for my liking to go anywhere near Walmart and the, at that crazy intersection where all the accidents always occur. So we're gonna go home the back way. And it's good timing, cause it's a gonna start getting dark. Red light. How much is gas where you guys are? Cause here it is currently rounding between 354 and 359. So be curious to hear about how much it is where you guys are. Obviously, a lot of you are going to say less than that because New York is freaking expensive. Hopefully my money will come in soon and I'll be able to go Christmas shopping. Not that I'm going to be able to do too much. Like I said, I'm probably going to have like $40 to buy for like four people and a cat. So it's not going to be a very great Christmas season. But... You know, times are tough. Fortunately for me, part of the joy of Christmas is giving gifts. And when I can't do that, it kind of takes away some of the Christmas spirit. I still love the holiday. I really do because everything is so gorgeous and everything. And But when my love language is giving gifts, it's hard. It's hard to not be able to give gifts. So, but hopefully, hopefully life and work is turning around and I will be able to give gifts throughout the year. Oh, it's so sad <laughs> that there's like no Christmas decorations on these side roads. This used to be like the place for Christmas decorations and there's like nothing, nothing. <sighs> Remember when you were kids and you used to go with your parents or your uncle or something and just spend hours looking at Christmas decorations with a cup of hot chocolate and maybe like a cookie? Oh, it used to be one of my favorite Christmas pastimes. And it's just, it's not the same anymore. I mean, I'm sure mom and I will go looking at Christmas decorations at some point. 
It's just not the same. And I understand Christmas isn't, it's not for everybody. And, you know, some people are in places in their lives or situations where Christmas, they just can't find the Christmas cheer. I get it. But, you know, and I'm not trying to sign, sound callous or anything. I promise I'm just, this is just my thought. Christmas is what you make it. Every holiday is what you make it. So if you are missing the Christmas cheer and the fun of like listening to Christmas music and, you know, baking and you, you don't have anybody to do it with, do it by yourself. Make Christmas what you want it to be. You know, it might not be the same. It's not the same for me either. But I'm not going to completely write off the holiday because of that. I'm going to do what I can to bring that feeling, that nostalgic feeling of Christmas to the forefront, you know? Christmas is in every, every day, every single day of your life is what you make it. So try to make it a good one. Try to look at the positive. I know it's hard. Believe me, there are times for me when it's hard. But if you are always looking at the negative, if you're always harping on the sadness in the world, you're never gonna find the happiness. And there is happiness out there to grab. It might not be the happiness you're expecting, it might not be the happiness you're used to, but there is happiness out there. It, and I understand, you know, lots of times, these are just words, it's hard to take them to heart. I understand that. But do what you can to reach for the good stuff. Every tiny moment, every tiny second of your life can change. Every tiny second of your day can change your life. And I don't mean to sound preachy. I, I'm kind of sounding like this is a lecture and it's not. I'm just telling you to look for the good. Take everything one second at a time because that one second can change everything. Okay, I'm home in the slippery slope of a driveway because <laughs> it's kind of covered in ice at the moment. And we're gonna take all these groceries upstairs and collapse probably because with this headache and everything, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a process. Oh, I think I'm on the sidewalk a little. Let's, let's fix that. That's better. Do not want to be on the sidewalk. We have elderly people who live here. All right, let's take the groceries upstairs.